A tunnel is created from the anteriormost sclera across the limbus and cornea with a 2.8 mm keratome and a topical anesthesia. AC is filled with HPMC viscoelastic. Tunnel floor entry with a cystitome ensures deep anterior chamber throughout the rexis procedure. There is no leak of visco through the tunnel as the cystitome enters the AC at the limbus and not through the entire length of the tunnel. A comfortable rexis is created, measures about 5.5 mm as measured with the keratome, width of the keratome. That's a little more than the width of the keratome. A single entry, there is no side ports needed for this technique. A single point hydrodissection is created with a special cannula. The nucleus epinucleus mass is rotated within the capsular bag. One pole is lifted up and the nucleus is completely brought into the anterior chamber. It's bisected using a mini vectus and a 25 gauge visco infusing cannula. The visco is continuously infused in front of the nucleus and behind the endothelium protecting the endothelial cells. Visco expression of the debris. The second half is brought in line with the tunnel and similarly visco being injected in front of it and visco helps the nucleus come out of the anterior chamber very comfortably. Capsular separating hydrodissection facilitates excellent and easy and complete cortical aspiration. A Simco cannula is used for that. The cartridge is slit on the top. It's a preloaded multifocal lens and uh, as you can see the pressure exerted by the cartridge on the lens is least here preserving the fine ultrastructure of the intraocular lens. Eye wheel is rotated in the bag, positioned such that the haptic optic junction is at the lateral field, at the horizontal meridian. This minimizes the dysphotopsia. The HPMC inside the bag in the angle region in the entry chamber and with reverse flush the HPMC that is stuck to the endothelium is also aspirated. That is the end of surgery. Eye is kept open. There is no need for bandaging. Patient can start using the eye immediately. Thank you.